Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Oksana and in today's video I'm very excited to share with you how I decorated my living room after the holidays. Because you can probably relate that after everything is cleaned up, the home might feel just a little empty and sad. By the way, if you missed my last video, I shared a lot of tips on efficiently storing and organizing holiday decorations. But now when everything is cleaned out and we have two more winter months ahead, I wanted to make my home feel more warm and cozy during this transition period to spring. So grab a cup of your favorite hot beverage and I hope to give you some inspiration on how you can turn that empty post-holiday space into something more inviting and warm. So let's get started. The first thing I did after putting away the Christmas tree was to bring back my floor lamp and my favorite comfy chair to this empty corner. I mean, I love my tree, but to be honest, I miss this cozy nook, so I'm super happy to have it all back. And my new addition to this corner is this new accent table. I think that accent tables are a very simple way to give a room a fresh look without breaking the bank. For me it's more of a decorative piece than regular furniture, but it's quite impactful and can really shift the vibe in the room. If you watched my fall decorating video last year, you might remember that I had the dark wood accent table here for the fall season. So now with this completely different accent table with a gold metal base and a marble top, you can see it brings a totally different mood. I found this table at Home Goods, but I think it's a dupe for the popular drink table from West Elm. They're not exactly the same. This table is a little bit bigger than the one from there, but they are very similar. And for my winter chair decor, I got a light blue ombre throw. It's a really nice and soft throw I recently snapped at 50 50% off from West Elm and I added this shaggy lumber pillow. The pillow has shimmering yarns woven throughout, giving it a very delicate sheen that reminds me of the sparkle of snow in the sunshine. And overall this combination of white and blue just feels really wintry to me and I love it. In the cooler months of the year, you can never have too much ambient light. I'm a big fan of lighting up every corner I can and even more. So for this empty corner of my TV console stand, I added this large glass hurricane holder. It's from the Threshold collection from Target. And there is also a smaller version that's exactly the same. I have both and a little bit later in the video you will see how I styled the smaller one on my coffee table. I think it's a beautiful piece really versatile because I think it can complement any interior style and you can even use it as a base. And for the insert I use this large LED wax pillar candle from Michaels. It comes with a timer and can also be used outdoors which is very convenient. For my couch I used just a bunch of cream and white pillows in different sizes and also played around with different textures to make it look interesting and kind of designer. Here I used a super soft faux fur oversized pillow, crushed velvet and boucle pillows. And what is winter without a soft warm blanket on the sofa? So in this corner I've added a light brown for mink fur throw from Walmart's Better Homes and Gardens collection. I think this color beautifully complements my blue couch and all the white pillows and just adds warmth to the whole vibe. And for the pillows here I used one oversized for rabbit fur pillow from Target. This gorgeous neat pillow I found at TG Maxx online and a small boucle pillow matching the one in the other corner. All the pillows I use have removable covers and if they originally had polyester inserts, I switched them up for my own feather inserts that are 2 inches bigger. This not only makes them look extra cushy, but also they're actually comfy and supportive for my back. And as usual, I'll make sure to leave all the links for you guys in the description box so you can easily find all these pillows and pillow covers. Alright, let's move on to the coffee table. 
I couldn't resist grabbing this ball from the new spring decor collection from Studio Magee at Target. I feel that this piece is going to be very popular. And for the feeling, I used ornaments that I actually used to decorate my Christmas tree this year. I think they don't scream Christmas, but they definitely scream winter. So I just enjoy using them to keep the seasonal theme going. The next piece I added to my coffee table is this metal tray. Now, here's the deal. I really like and want an antique metal tray from Pari Barn. I think it's such a gorgeous and versatile piece. But it's pricey, so I was searching for something similar, particularly a rectangular metal tray with handles in a bronze color. But surprisingly, it's not easy to find something similar at a good price. So I found this tray on Wayfair. It comes in various sizes. I got the smallest one, which is actually smaller than the smallest tray from Pottery Barn. To be fair, the same size tray at Wayfair costs almost the same as the one from Pottery Barn, but my coffee table is pretty small, so I think it works great here, and I was happy to save a little bit, but I definitely still want that Pottery Barn one. All right, I also added a book and a smaller version of that glass hurricane holder that I used on my TV console with a small pillar candle inside. Moving on to my console table, I placed a few books for contrast with the wooden top and I added this beautiful bowl of bluish gray shade that I absolutely love and to continue the frosted ornaments theme, I filled it with pine cones that I also use for decorating my Christmas tree. I actually flocked them myself and if you watched my Christmas tree decorating video, you would know the detailed process of how I did it. I love pine cones, so I couldn't resist the opportunity to enjoy them a little longer than just during the Christmas season. And for my arrangement, I used this beautiful ripped rectangular vase. It's from CB2, but it's currently on sale for only $25. I think that it's such a great price for a CB2 vase, considering that sometimes pieces at Target are even more expensive. I love it, I think it's so stylish. And I was pondering on what kind of stems would suit this quirky shape vase and complement my winter decor in this room. And I thought that white orchids would look amazing here. Plus the rectangular shape is just perfect for these flowers. I found my orchid flower stems on Amazon. There are tons of options to choose from, but I specifically like these ones because they have a very light and pinkish color at the centers, unlike the majority that typically have more saturated orange or yellow color centers. I'm not saying those flowers aren't pretty, I like them too, it's just that I fell in love with these ones, I think their colors are so refreshing and just right for my decor at this time. As for the quality, even though they're labeled as real touch flowers, the price was pretty low, so initially I was kind of hesitant about them, but to my surprise I am impressed with the quality. They are large, tall, look very realistic, full and fluffy, so I am extremely happy with my find. I just use a hairdryer to fluff them up very, very well and they are such a beauty. I feel like I've really captured a winter vibe in my living room. White color, of course, takes the lead. It's actually my favorite color, but I believe I've added some accents that make it all together feel warm and cozy for winter. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found some inspiration for your own space. Let me know how you decorate your home during these winter months and what your favorite things are. Thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful winter season. I will see you in the next video very soon. Bye-bye.